It's Tuesday morning and it's time for a quick run. Perfect. Quick break, scenic stop. Fantastic and wonderful, and I really enjoy matching them, and I like the results. Um, you know, 25,000 marriages and counting, and untold numbers of what we call cafe babies. So it's quite uh, rewarding. I'm just getting my stuff together for the conference. It's going to be walking over in a second after a cup of coffee, and this is my 10-foot booth. that keeps users coming back to the app. Then around that core engine, we build different experiences to help find new people. Thank you very much. It's actually the 42nd internet dating conference and I've spoken at them. I've missed three of them so far. Brazil, Hong Kong, and these. We're the only agency consultancy in the world that's 100% focused on the internet dating industry. We love this business. They want you to use Chrome. They want you to use their browser, go to Google, and, and, and they want sites that load super fast. Site speed is more important than ever before. CEO of the Army in the past, we've interviewed uh, CEO of Spark Network. So first of all, thank you for taking the time. Um, I paid your office a visit in New York a few days ago, a lovely office, wooden floors, it felt like an office that you could work later. <laughs> yeah, right. that's right. Was, isn't this how Tinder really rose? And it was the, the entertainment and the gamification element, it an amusement. Yeah, that's right. And and to that point, they were also they're also a product company. Here. Like their user acquisition strategy was to go into colleges in Southern California and get fraternities and sororities to sign up, and that is how they got their initial traction. What is the philosophy of Hinge when it comes to products? Your position is more serious, meaningful relationships. That's different from Tinder. Tinder is more. It's simpler, doesn't ask much of its users. Tinder is designed in a way that gets you, it's all about matching. You log in, the first thing you see is more new people. Regardless of whether someone just connected with you and is trying to talk with you, you log in and it's like, well, don't worry about that person, here's the next person that you can match with. It's a gamification mechanic uh, that drives really compulsive behavior. A little bit of background, I started Hinge in 2011 when I was coming out of business school. Um, 2011 was pre-Tinder, pre the entire dating app culture and world. And I was really just trying to create a way for people to connect. My generation who just wouldn't talk about or be caught dead using a dating service. Wouldn't it be great if you could basically just sort of cruise your friend's friends uh, online to figure out who that person was that you were eventually going to meet at that wedding five years from now and meet them today. Like I got in this business to build something that didn't exist and would actually serve people. I've always learned a lot from here. Uh, I remember being here, I think it was 2007 in Miami. I think Marcus Friend was talking about uh, Planet of Fish back then. He was sharing some of his secrets. What I thought I would do is to just tell a story of how Seeker Arrangement was founded. I had this girl from another high school and I wanted to really talk to her. And um, I, I was sort of hesitating for almost an hour or two trying to pick up the phone to call her because I was that nervous. But my mom then told me, you know, forget about the girls, just study hard, focus on your school. Because one day you'll be very successful, and that's what I, as a woman, look for. I am looking for a rich, successful man who can be generous. My background is I'm the founder of astrology.com. Oh, how so, big is that lens? 10 to 22 millimeters. That's a big lens. Yeah. What, is, what is this for? We're, uh, we're at the Internet Dating Conference. This is Ken, my buddy. Hi, guys. And he runs Just Meet Ken. That's me. Which is one of the more innovative dating services. Just Meet Ken is a dating app for women to introduce their best guys to other women. Based on the true story, how my yeah. wife 
Yeah. My wife and I met I this that. way. A woman posted me online, <laughs> and then uh, my wife saw the post, emailed her, the two of them chatted. So that's my story. It actually is my story. That's yeah. yeah so. <laughs> Great. It's good to see you. Well, in any event, hi, I'm Julie Spire with the iDay conference with Mark Brooks, one of my favorite people. He does like the most amazing presentation here, and I'm wearing these glasses. And um, good luck getting the back. A dating app for women to introduce their best guys to other women. So guys can only be on our app if they've been nominated by a woman. Yeah, I love it when a plan much. comes together. We did it again. How many is that now? I suppose we're having... <laughs> 46? Like 18. 47. Ah. <laughs> 47 conferences. This is the 47th event. Yeah. And I, I've spoken at 42 of them. There you go. Ah. That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but I'm leaving. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a nice. Maybe a nice. Maybe a nice. Tastes okay. awful. That's the one to kiss. <laughs> Tastes awful. Okay. Tastes awful. You're all sweaty. Yeah. Well, Never you, done that you're before. You. I think I liked it. <laughs> it keeps it keeps up the whole the whole image. We got to keep right. that image going. Yeah, we do. No, that's a different conference. Image. <laughs> exactly. Okay. No, it's that time again, it's travel time. Plane to catch to go to London. I'll be three days in England, visiting family, and then back home to squeeze my girly girls. So my buddy Vince is gonna give me a ride, and uh, he liked fast cars, so it's gonna be interesting to see what he shows up in. <laughs> oh yeah. So what is this? Yeah. 650 horsepower. Would you be gentle? Actually, I no, put, you put your foot down. So we're talking 200 miles an hour down Bullshit Straight, or really 200 miles an hour? It can go. No, it can go 200. Not much over. Yeah, not much over 200. We're doing 30 miles an hour. 170 miles an hour to go. Fogged up. 